Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stay a while by clicking that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. And today's video is going to be about three DIYs. I know I've been missing in action for so long. I decided to bring you guys three DIYs. Super easy but really beautiful. But before we get into these DIYs, I want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. One of my favorite brands to work with. I'm so in love with Scentbird. It is a monthly subscription service where you get to sample a ton of products from like perfumes to skincare to fragrances to wellness to makeup. They have a ton of stuff. They even have candles you guys and everything smells so good. So the ones that I'm going to be sampling today or showing you are the fragrances and this is the first one that I have. As you can see it comes in this super cute dispenser and all you have to do is twist it right up to release your fragrance and you can pull the actual vial by just pulling it out. And as you can see here it is a full size bottle that has 120 to 140 sprays. This one is the English Laundry, it smells so good. And to put it back, all you have to do is just push it right in and then twist it down like you would a lipstick. And it's super compact and easy to carry so you can have it on your, the go, have it in your purse, or you could just have a small little selection along with all your other perfumes. This is so great because they carry so many good brands. They have a lot of designer brands. So this one is the Vince Camuto Terra. And this last one, as you see here, is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. I love all of them. I love that they have skincare now. I can't wait to try them. So you guys, if you want to get 30% off your first month, go ahead and check out the link that I will have below in my description box. And you can get your first month for just $10. And remember, the best way to support my channel is to support my sponsors. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. So now let's get into this DIY. So I wanted to recreate this placemat that I saw on Instagram and I believe it's by Inspire Me Home Decor and it had this crystal rhinestone ribbon straight down the middle and I had a ton of it so I decided to try it. This placemat is from the Dollar Tree. So I was going to do the thinner one but I decided to go with a thicker one which is the rhinestone sheet. And um, I just straightened down the edges because this is a piece that I've used before. And this is actually an iron on so I tried to iron it however the placemat is plastic and I was struggling to try to not melt the actual placemat so I decided to just pull it right out but what I found that is it actually stretches out the rhinestone ribbon so that small little piece that I had actually made it through the entire placemat so all that was left to do is just use a little bit of hot glue and put it right down the middle and I had a really beautiful result. The other option is to use your totally dazzled um, diamond wrap, which I use in just about everything. And I use the entire strip, and so you wouldn't cut it. You'd use like all 20 rows of diamonds that it comes with, add a little bit of hot glue, and you have a really beautiful placemat to use for a special occasion. I know Thanksgiving is coming up and the holidays. This is great for it. For the next DIY, I have these magnetic um, curtain tie backs that we sell on designsandinspirations.com and I will have a link down below. Super inexpensive, you can get a full set of six of them I believe. I decided to spruce them up by using the totally dazzled brooches, I will also link those below for you as well. But I still wanted to be able to open it so I only glued it on one side. So I just lined it up to the edge and then I added a little bit of hot glue and as you can see I can still use a magnetic clip and this is what it looks like. For 
For the final DIY, I'm going to be using these cardboard pieces that I've had for quite some time from when my daughter was getting formula, but you can definitely stack up a lot of foam board or whatever cardboard that you can find. I decided to paint the back of it black because of I didn't want the cardboard to show through so I wanted the background to be black but you can um, use another color if you'd like you could use silver or white and once I had the paint on I added a fine glitter to the edges in the eight figure shape and then I went ahead and glued on my mirrors along the edges as you see here. I just use hot glue for my videos but you guys definitely use E6000 or something stronger as usual when working with mirrors. So once I had those lined up at the middle, I just used my crystal rhinestone ribbon to affix along the edges and I just measured, cut them down, and then use a little bit of hot glue. Once I was done with this side, I repeated the same process with the other side, adding my paint painting it and brushing it down, adding my glitter, spraying it down with a little bit of Mod Podge, putting my mirrors, and then lining the edges with the crystal rhinestone ribbon, which I will have linked below. I have it available on the website designsandinspirations.com. I went ahead and used the rhinestone ribbon all along the edges because I really wanted this to have a rich, almost like, you know, upscale feel as opposed to the diamond wrap. And so I used it all along the edge, the sides, and the only area that I left was the bottom. Now for the top, I went ahead and added a octagon mirror or hexagon mirror. And I added a little bit of the rhinestone ribbon on the edge just to finish it off. And this is the final look. So I played around with the design in the front. I added an additional square mirror on that side and the other side I left blank. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. I really love the way this turned out. I am probably going to be making a second one just to have a pair of them and maybe a smaller one so I could have like a trio. I don't know, but I just really love the way this looks. I hope you guys liked it too. Don't forget to check out Scentbird and the link below to get your 30% off. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless and bye-bye.